Well, let's see about where we are on the big chart here. So as of June 17, 2020, we're right about by this East Scotia slope buoy here. So here's where we started, Cape Charles, and here's where we're going. And uh, so we're almost a third of the way. We get a little further, get to about here, I'd say that's about a third of the distance. Uh, by the time we get off Cape Race, Newfoundland, uh, we're almost half, if you look at that, that's almost halfway. Um, so, anyway, um, that's after 10 days. Hopefully we're going to speed up a bit, because uh, the forecast is westerly component winds out for the next five days, hopefully beyond. Um, Coast Guard weather is saying in Atlantic high pressure uh, building in end of the week so that'll hopefully give us westerlies and uh, so anyway we'll see all is well we keep going Well, except for the bacon and eggs, we're all out of fresh. So, we go to boxes and cans, one of my favorites here. Stuffing, canned chicken breast, and peas. And uh, put a little butter in that, it makes a complete meal, and it's quite tasty. I gotta head up top side to drain the water out of the can of chicken there. Well, same goes for the can of peas. And last but not least, add some gravy. Right. No need to dirty more dishes and use more water cleaning them. Just eat it right out of the pan. Mike. 
Vikings must have just thought that uh, for the Vikings it must have just felt like Norway all over again, I suppose. Never been to Norway. Um, yeah, so this is definitely Viking territory here. And I uh, won't be having any parties on the beach. Um, weather forecast is good. West component winds, kind of in the 10 to 20 range, might get a little light at times, might get a little brisk at times, but uh, all fair direction-wise. Um, so hopefully we can make, uh, hopefully we, we can make some good miles this week and, uh, and start really working on that big number. Speaking of which, I'm going to dare. Tuesday the 23rd of June and we are at 45 degrees 8 minutes north and just about 51 degrees west so it just got interesting here So we now have a tropical storm, Dolly, which is at 40 degrees 61 north as of 5 p.m. Moving east-northeast at 10 knots, forecast by 2 a.m. tomorrow to be at 41 north, 59 west, and then move off to the east and transition to a post-tropical cyclone. Uh, I'm trying to get information on what uh, what that low looks like, where it's tracking. I'm trying to get that from friends of mine through the inReach. Um, still, the oceans weather. I've have several waypoints along my track here, and uh, possibly I'm looking uh, this weekend west to southwest. Uh, the worst I'm seeing is 25 to 35 knots, so a light gale. 
out of the west southwest um, so we'll see um, so that's that's not storm force that's near gale force we can deal with that um, so just playing this by ear here one day at a time uh, this is definitely where having uh, iridium go would be <laughs> would be a big help because then I could get a grip follow I can I can actually see it uh, I can actually see the low where it is and where it's tracking whereas with the inReach I'm just setting waypoints and getting a weather forecast so uh, so anyway that's where we're at uh, hopefully Dolly is not going to do anything it's not going to do anything uh, mean and nasty and uh, it's just going to dissipate and head off to the east and away from us but we'll see um, we'll just we'll, we, we just have to wait and see what's going to happen Well, since I know tropical storm or not, the winds are forecast to pick up. I'm going to unhank the Yankee, the jib, from the uh, jib stay there while it's still calm. Because uh, that can get to be quite a difficult job when it's, uh, when it's kicked up. And there's a downhaul on the jib halyard. So if there's no downhaul, you want to be very careful. You don't lose a halyard. The thing can start swinging around and you could lose it up the mast, which is uh, can be a bit of a disaster when you're well offshore. And also just be mindful now that you have the sail is no longer bent on to the stay. And nothing's holding it on the boat. Just don't lose that sail overboard. Don't lose yourself overboard either. Ahoy everybody! It is Wednesday, the 24th of June, 2020, and we are at 45 degrees 34 minutes north, 49 degrees 22 minutes west. We're, uh, we're on the bank south of Newfoundland, southeast of Newfoundland, um, southwest of Newfoundland, sorry. Um, and uh, haven't seen a single fishing boat. Uh, maybe there's still a moratorium on fishing here. But uh, then again, as you can see, I can't see anything anyway. We've had just absolute zero visibility and fog for the past two days now. Um, but, uh, but I'm not seeing anything on AIS. Haven't picked up a single ship. So, uh, um, as my father was fond of saying, ain't no one out here but us chickens. Um, now, of course, yesterday, I got news that uh, Tropical Storm Dolly had formed not too far from me. Uh, the good news is today, it sounds like the, the storm is disintegrating almost as fast as it formed. 
and so it looks like it's going to move off to the northeast fairly quickly and uh, also is going to dissipate pretty quickly. Um, I'm not sure it's even a tropical storm at this point. So, uh, so that's good news. So uh, it seems like we'll just continue on the Great Circle route here. Presently we got southwest winds about 12, 12, 14 knots. We're making nice progress. Uh, despite the fog, we do have some sunshine. It's on my panels charging up the battery, so that's good. So all is well. Uh, this week it looks generally good winds. South to west quadrant might get a little brisk, especially this weekend. Uh, winds could get up in the 20s. Uh, but otherwise, looks like we should have pretty good, uh, pretty good fast sailing for the next week. Um, now. We'll take a peek at our big number here. Is 1,604 miles to fast that. So, um, remember, it was originally almost 2,900. So, hopefully, tomorrow, if we run a little over 100 miles, uh, we'll reach the half point of the passage tomorrow. So, that's something anyway. And uh, we just keep moving on out here. We'll talk to y'all again sometime later. As I said, I'm probably not gonna do these blog entries every day uh, unless there's something unusual because this is a long, long haul. And, uh, and, uh, and the days kind of just blend together. So anyway, we'll talk to y'all again sometime later. Take care everyone, bye bye.